Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about the head down fix and how so many golfers think every single bad shot they hit is due to their head staying or the head lifting through contact basically. And all their friends and all the people at the driving range will say to them, you lifted your head in that shot. Every time they hit a bad shot, that's the first thing that really comes out of people's mouths. And to be honest with you, it is rubbish. So we're gonna to talk to you about the things that will cause you to hit bad shots in terms of the biomechanics and what's going on with the golf swing and then really a nice way of moving your body through the ball to make you a better more consistent golfer but still have your own authentic swing keep watching to find out how so basically we've all heard it we've all probably been told it that when we're hitting goal shots and we hit a particularly bad shot and i'll go ahead and try and top one here we get told that it's because we lifted our head now i can show you some of the best golfers in the world that head is actually rotated and facing the target prior to contact with the golf ball and these guys are some of the best players in the world and have been the best players in the world so kind of annika david duval henrik stenson even does it a little bit and numerous players do it when they pitch and chip as well. So for me, I'd much rather you get your eyes looking at where we want to go prior to contact and through contact than keeping your head down. Now, as I said in the introduction, let's talk about the common thing that causes people to struggle with contact in terms of this kind of relationship and what we're talking about with the head. So what tends to happen is the head can work back. So our weight stays on our trail side too much and the head going back means the club will ascend through the golf ball too much, and that means we can top the ball or hit the ground prior to the ball. The other thing that will happen is basically the arms can shorten, making the radius of our golf swing raise up. And the third thing that really happens will be the right hand for a right-handed golfer, so your trail hand, excuse me for that, your trail hand, if it gets overactive and causes this kind of cast in action, again, it can affect the low point in the golf swing and indeed the radius of the golf swing. So just to be sure, if we're talking about the radius of the golf swing, if you imagine my arms, when they're structured here, the club is nestled on the ground. Now, when I go and hit the golf ball, ideally that radius of the swing wants to be into the ground a little bit more. And that's gonna happen by this slight kind of squatting facet of our body on the downswing. So ideally in our downswing, we will lose a fraction of heights. And if we keep the structure in our arms, we definitely still want the trail arm bent and straightening, but we keep the structure in our arms, our club will descend into the ground, but ideally after the golf ball, not before. So what happens is when we hit these kind of fat and top shots and generally poor shots, people assume the first thing that's happened is our heads come up. And I've shown, I don't know how many hundreds of students over the years when I'm teaching them, they hit a bad shot on the range. I mean, they'll say, I lifted my head. I'll play the back of the video, I'll draw a line on the top of the head, a line on the front of the head, and I haven't seen one to date yet that the head's raised up. Now some of them, as I said, the head will work back, some of them will, the arms will bend and break down, and the right hand and so on, all the things we're talking about. So it's definitely not something I'd want you to think about doing, is keeping your head down. Now ideally what I want you to do is hit some shots, and probably half swings to start with, where you feel you would look at target before contact. You get that feeling of freedom and rotation. It's gonna help our neck rotate, our head rotate, our chest rotate, torso and our hips. Now in doing so, it's gonna mean our hands are less active through the ball and we can be more consistent. If our body's more accelerating, it means our wrists accelerate later, so it means we maintain that lag action in the golf swing also. So this is a great drill to create freedom to get our body moving and we have a lot of freebies. We have a lot of knock-on effects that help our action in the golf swing. Let's go ahead and do one of those. So pretty happy with that shot. It was only a little shot, but I really felt I had nice freedom in it. I felt like I turned through the ball quite nicely. It was a nice straight shot. And it's definitely something I could have more freedom with in my golf swing. I'll tend to keep my head, let's say not rotating early enough in my golf swing. I want more rotation in my golf swing through the ball also. 
So what I'm trying to say from this video is really don't keep your head down, have freedom in your body, let your body rotate through the golf ball. Try this little drill to get that freedom and that sense of feel and trust, I guess, is the key word. A lot of people when they're swinging feel they have to keep their head down to make contact. And as soon as they make a few poor contacts, almost keep the head down more and more and more, which is definitely not what I want you to do as a golfer. So guys, chat down below, post any questions or comments, tell me what kind of videos you want to hear, see and hear from me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and share the video. It really helps my channel. I really appreciate if you could do that. Also comment, as I said, that also helps the channel too. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please hit my logo down the bottom corner and feel free to send in some swings if you want to, and I'll look at your swing at any stage and send you back some you know, nice little feedback to help you with your golf. So thank you for watching and see you again here soon.